We've just come down to the beach and we've noticed there's quite a lot of shingle and loose slabs. So let's have a look through them and see if there's anything to find. In this video in particular, we're going to be focusing on the belemnite fossils, the fossilised squid-like creatures. We've got a whole variety of finds coming up, including one of our favourite belemnites from home. This first slab we've come across is covered in just exposed belemnites. They must literally have been exposed the tide before we've come down onto the beach. You can see the shale is all fresh and crisp where it's been lifted away. And these belemnites are exactly as we found them. There's also some running underneath a thin layer of shale. We'll lift that up with our chisel and have a look. Let's lift the shale. Underneath, even more complete belemnite specimens. It's really special to see this many all perfectly intact. They're usually totally worn by the time you find them, unless you find them fresh like this. Shea's now going to have a walk along some of the other shingle and see what belemnites there are to be found. Worn belemnite with the fragma cone, just starting to expose there. It's worn right through the belemnite, which is quite interesting because you can actually see the internal structures of the fragma cone there, which is pretty unusual. Unfortunately, not a keeper, so we'll keep looking. Oh, this one's a little bit better. It's a really fresh belemnite. The tip's just under the shale there. Really pleased with that. Let's wash off all the loose mud. They always look so much nicer after they've been submerged in the water. It's got some lovely brown in it. It's a really nice specimen. I also couldn't believe it, but on this slab as well, there is the most intact belemnite that we've seen so far. This is one of the best belemnites, actually, I've seen in quite some time in general. It's completely preserved, lots of little shells next to it. It's got part of the fragma cone, which is covered in pyrite clusters. That is a really, really lovely example of one of the fossilized squid-like creatures. That is great. really nice and it was genuinely sat here like this it's unbelievable me and Shay are now going to be turning over some large slabs of shale to see if there are any exciting fossils hidden underneath let's start having a look let's have a look and flip some of these slabs see if there's any fossils inside crushed shells. It's always worth checking the underside of these slabs because you never know what you're going to find. Nothing under
with that one. I mean, some of these slabs are huge, you wouldn't be able to move them. Nothing on those. It's a crushed ammonite just here, which looks pretty nice. I don't think it'll last very long. I think the seal will erode that away pretty quickly. Keep looking. Now this slab's got loads of shells on, so I won't be surprised if there's quite a few shells on the other side too. Oh yeah, there's plenty of shells there. There's even a complete belemnite. It's just the tip that needs exposing. So if I grab the hammer and chisel, I'll expose that on camera. Put my safety glasses on. Now if we just lightly tap with the hammer, just to use the vibrations, just so that we don't damage the actual fossil. And we should be able to expose the very tip of the belemnite. It's so fragile when they're in the shale, you have to be really careful. You see the tip exposed there now. Get a few more taps. Really gently. And there we go. And that's a perfect bellum night. Even the fragma cones preserved, but slightly crushed at the back. But that's always the case with these types of fossils. It's nice to see the association with the shells too. Awesome. We're really pleased with that. We've just been lifting some slabs to see what's exposed on the other side of the rock. And to our disbelief, we found a perfect bellum night exposed on this slab here. So let's flip it over and show you. So initially, when we saw the slab, we could see some crushed shells and we thought, might as well check the other side. And flipped it over. And there's a perfect belemnite exposed. And that's just amazing. It's not one we'll be able to collect. If we try to chip it out the shale, it would just shatter. But it's so nice to see them exposed and so well defined. It's a lovely belemnite. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Coming up next, we have a look at one of our favourite belemnite fossils from our collection. If you enjoy this bellum night coming up next, make sure to let us know in the comments. We can certainly include some of our other favourite bellum nights in future videos. Let's have a look at this one. This bellum night fossil has to be certainly one of our favourites that we have ever found. It's by far one of the biggest, with a complete bellum night guard and the fragma cone. Just to give you a size idea, you can see my hand next to it. The fragma cone is completely 3D. Highly, highly unusual. Not very often seen, especially when it's still attached to the original Bellum Knight Guard. A lot of people initially think they look like teeth or bullets. It's quite clear why people might think that. But it is a fossil of a squid-like creature from the Jurassic. It's 
very common to find these fossils, usually just finding pieces of them. Usually worn and fractured and you don't very often find complete specimens, especially with the phragma cone attached. We do have a couple of other specimens which are equally and in some cases even more impressive than this one. We'll be sure to show you those in a future video. Perhaps we could line a few of them up to give you a really good comparison of the size of a lot of these specimens. As you can see, there's a few little tiny little surface fractures. That's because the fossil is preserved in some really, really soft shale. Preparing a specimen like this might look to be quite easy, but especially cases like this when it's in soft shale, it's actually quite tricky. What an impressive Bellumnite specimen. I hope you've enjoyed this video, having a look for some fresh Bellumnite fossils on the beach, as well as having a look at one of our favourite Bellumnites from our collection. Remember to let us know in the comments if you'd like to see some of our other favourite Bellumnite fossils. Thanks for watching, we've got a scenery clip now just to round off the video, and we will see you in the next one.